Good morning, Clarence Farrington Elementary. Happy Tuesday, March the 7th, 2023. Today is National Flapjack Day, National Sportsmanship Day, and National Sock Monkey Day. It is also still Women's History Month, so I thought it would be cool to share a little fact about women's history. Today, 71% of moms with kids under 18 work. In 1975, fewer than 47% of women did. Once upon a time, the idea of women working outside of the home was frowned upon, and most women who did so worked as maids, seamstresses, took in laundry, or worked in one of the female fields. Today, more women not only work outside of the home, but hold a wider variety of jobs, with some even making it to the top of business, technology, and science fields. We have three birthdays in the building today. The first is Francine in Miss Wright's class, and then Dylan in Mrs. Bullington's class, and Maylee in Mrs. Wagley's class. Tonight, that's right, friends, tonight the CFE girls basketball team plays at 7 p.m. at Broad Ripple High School. This is the second round of the IPS basketball tournament. Win our team wins this evening. They will go on to play Thursday at 6 p.m. also at Broad Ripple High School. When they win that game, they will play right away at 7 p.m. also at Broad Ripple High School. I'm already planning to go watch them win it all this weekend. Don't forget, this week is I read testing. Make sure you're getting lots of good sleep and you are super quiet in the hallways. Looking ahead, there is no school on Friday, March 24th, and the following week is spring break. Hello, my name is Joel. I'm in Miss Potter's class. Today we'll be, we will be doing elevator breathing. One, two, three, Hello, my name is Joel. I'm in Miss Potter's class. Today we'll be, nice we will be doing elevator. Now he's going to tell us. This Georgia. is Georgia O'Keefe. She was a painter. Once upon a time, a woman saw a front door. It was an ordinary door, weathered and old, set in an adobe mud wall. But the woman was no ordinary woman. Her name was Georgia O'Keefe. She was a great artist. She spent the whole day making a painting of the door. Then she stepped back and looked at the canvas. There was something not quite right. Something missing. So she started another painting. This one was better than the first. She decided, but it still wasn't quite right. She started again and again. She made over 20 paintings of the same door. Every time George, George set out to paint something, she wanted to get at the heart of whatever it was, a flower, a hillside, an animal scar, or an, or an or, an, or ordinary old door. She wanted to paint it not just what a flower looked like, but what it was. It's very essence. When you take a flower and really look at it, she explained, it's your world for the moment. Her paintings of flowers were huge. It was as though one flower could fill the entire sky with simple shapes and blocks of color. Georgia created a whole new language of art. Her work became hugely popular and everyone wanted to meet her. 
But Georgia liked being on her own. She lived in a place called Ghost Ranch in Mexico. She loved it there. There was the desert light was strong and clear, and the landscape was wild and free, just like her. This is Georgia. All right, friends, that's all we have for today. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.